Just, uh, well, the only question, Justice Gupta, is that, uh, and you may have heard Justice A.P. Shah say this, that Justice Madan Lukur said that it will require a miracle to uphold its constitutional validity. But the concern A.P. Shah had that when it comes to the wider constitutional question, that in the cases like Hadiyah and so on, the Supreme Court may have taken a progressive view, but when it comes to the constitutional question, will they be as decisive? I, 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 I see no reason why the Supreme Court should not be decisive. I, you know, they may, I mean, we all may have our own views on different subjects. Even some judges may not agree with what we are saying today. Mm. But I don't see why there should be any delay in a case, a decision of this case. But right now the UP High Court is seized of the matter and I'm sure the UP High Court itself will give a decision which will strike down the ordinance. I am, I am confident about that. Okay. The reason, of course, for the urgency being that this ordinance is already being used, as you must have seen, to harass and even arrest and disrupt a number of interfaith re uh, relationships. Uh, I agree with you, but I only say it is not being used, it's being misused. Because uh, the law, even if it, if, as it is being promulgated and as, uh, if it's said to be legal, the cases I read are of marriages which took place many months before the law came into force. Yes. But it seems our police and our bureaucracy is more loyal than the king itself and they just want to prove that something is going wrong. And what do we see images of? Or images of a woman being harassed inside a police station, action being taken against the woman, but no action being taken against those 10, 12 so-called religious leaders who harass her inside the police station. Mm. I wish we lived in better times. Well, that's strong words. You're, you're right. You're actually referring to the Muradabad incident and uh, we're actually putting those visuals up on screen uh, where just for the benefit of viewers who may not have caught up that this is a, a Hindu-Muslim couple that uh, claimed they converted four months before the ordinance uh, was passed and they got married four months before but when they went to get their marriage registered, they were heckled and harassed by uh, this, this Hindutva group and uh, the husband uh, uh, was arrested. The young woman who's pregnant was taken to a shelter home now it appears that uh, they have, the police have found that, in fact, they, they, they believe the story that it was uh, a legitimate uh, marriage and they're likely to re uh, release the husband. So, so in conclusion, uh, Justice, you are hopeful. You are hopeful of legal, of, no, of, the, of legal I, I corrective. Think the, uh, I, I yeah. think there is no other option for any sound constitutional judge okay. to do anything else but strike down this law. All right. Okay. Well. Amen to that. Let's see how it goes. Thank you so much indeed uh, for uh, joining us on Reality Check.